it is just one after another after another today. Good stuff. Hey folks, Ross with Hikeway Paddle. Today I'm back out here on a little state managed lake here in Chester County, South Carolina. If you watched my most recent video, I came out here two days ago and I did some catfishing. And that's what I'm gonna be doing again today. Only this time, I brought a frying pan with me. So the plan is to fish for an hour or so, um, see what we can get. And uh, if I find a good looking candidate, we're gonna be having some catfish nuggets for a shore lunch. So stay tuned, hope you enjoy. Let's see what we can get. Gonna be fishing fillets about that size. And just fishing those on a Carolina rig. I have a three ounce sinker down to a five alt team catfish double action circle hook. And I'm just gonna be fishing those fillets about a foot off the bottom. If you've seen my catfishing videos before, I've explained this, but I'll go over it again. I just dropped my bait straight down beside the kayak. I let the sinker hit bottom. I'll reel the rod tip down to the tip of the water and then into the rod holder it goes. And then whatever distance between the water surface and the tip of the rod, like here it's about a foot and a half. I know my bait with that leader is now eh, somewhere between eight inches and a foot off the bottom. And that's right where I want them. Fish on. <laughs> I literally dropped this bait down. And before I could even get it in the rod holder, I had a fish. <laughs> that's incredible. That's never happened. Oh, that's so funny. That's a that's a pretty channel cat, <laughs> and he is a little bit bigger than what I'm looking to keep today. I know that sounds crazy. He's perfect eater size. If I was looking for fillets at home, yeah, I'd keep him. But looking for something a little bit smaller. It's only me. Pretty fish. That was funny. I literally dropped that bait in his mouth. I mean, the second that bait, that sinker hit bottom, <laughs> I felt him hit. What are the chances it happens again? I got better shot of winning the Powerball tonight. Maybe not, I don't play it. It's got pedals. Uh-huh. All right. Well, while he was talking to me, obviously I got this little guy. And that is exactly the size I'm looking for for lunch. And that's what he's going to be. So he's going to hang out with me here for a bit while I try to catch a few more for fun. And then at the end of this video, we'll go over here to the to the shore. And we'll have us some nuggets. All right, here we go. Here we go again. All right, he's got it. 
<laughs> no, he doesn't either. <laughs> That's incredible. I tried so hard to let that circle hook do its thing there. Just let him load up the rod in the rod holder. That's generally what you have to do with these circle hooks. But evidently he just had, had different plans. I got all three rods getting bumped right now. Although this headpiece just got eaten. Yeah, he's on there. This first fish I've got on a headpiece out here in a long time. They generally want small baits. And that felt like a good fish. Piece. I think this is going to be a pretty good channel cat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good... That's a good fish right there. I'm gonna get this bait back down before I give him his camera time. Come here, fatty. Not a long fish. But man, look at the gut on that thing. He's been eating good. Today's, I guess, January 12th. I was out here on December 29th, I believe it was. And we had just had some just bitter, bitter cold. The weather was down in the upper 30s, low 40s, and there was a huge shad kill. And uh, the bottom of this lake was just that thick with dead shad. <laughs> and the catfish I was catching that day were like balloons they were about to pop and um I found some dead shad whenever I got down here today so I guess there was another shad kill and fish like that have been eating eating good as they say well these rods are still getting slammed uh, I'm losing fish left and right let's see if we can get another Right, here goes this headpiece again. I think he's got it. It's real down on him. There he is. That's so funny. The other day, all they wanted were fillets. I didn't get any really solid bites on headpieces and body chunks. And that's several good bites on headpieces so far today. And as I expect fishing baits like that, I expect them to be better fish. This one has broken somebody's line before. This fish is cool for many reasons. Hey, look what different colors he is on his back end. He's the same on both sides. That's so cool. And then, little bait holder hook in his lip there, all rusted up. All right, all right, all right. What a cool fish. It was a fun time. See you, bud.
Oh, 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 oh. Hadn't even had a chance to get a bait back down. And this rod took off, and this is another good one. Man, the bite's good. And this is a pretty good size channel cat. There's some good ones out here. I didn't intend to fish very long today, but if they keep biting like this, that frying pan can wait for a little while. This is fun. You match your tackle to these fish, channel cats can be a lot of fun. And well, given that they seem to be wanting bigger baits today, we're gonna drop a couple big baits down. I say big, big for all things relative. Head piece going down. And then this other rod, I'm gonna send down this body chunk. All right, if y'all can hear me, over that wind, this fillet just got popped. Feels like another solid fish. And it is, man. Just one after another after another today. Good stuff. All right, we got a body chunk going down here. Fish on. Pulling like another solid, solid fish. I'm saying that after every fish, but I very, very seldom catch this many of these three and four pound channel cats out here. And this one might be the biggest yet. Look at that thing. That's a good channel cap for a public lake that gets that much, this much pressure and pressure from people that I'm sure are not doing catch and release. That's a good time. All right, we got a rod tip dancing. And a line swimming, there it goes. This is just incredible. To come out here, anchor on one spot. Fishing vertically like this. It's so much fun. It is just so, so much fun fishing like this from a kayak. It's the same way I fish for blues and flatheads on big water. 
and on this lighter tackle. Same, just same technique. This is so much fun for these channel cats. with this wind but this is so much fun all right y'all well the last hour or so has been absolutely incredible and i would love to sit here and catch fish all day and i'm sure i could but i'm getting hungry so let's head over to the bank and let's get this fish cooked all right y'all so i got the fish clean now i'm gonna fire up the little frying pan and uh that is not fish blood i absolutely lacerated my finger not on the fillet knife but actually throwing that fish back or the carcass rather the uh one of the fins got me and it got me good All right, so I got the got the pan heating up, breading these nuggets. That's just some flour and Cajun seasoning. Going to be fantastic. Perfection. Bon appetit, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you watching. If you could, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Really appreciate you watching. We'll have more for you soon.